the next one. We have the Felstar Minures versus the London Lillipups. Let me go ahead and get these guys pulled up here. This is also in conference. The last in conference match was within the Cyan Conference. This one is within the Magenta Conference. Let me go ahead and keep track of who was brought on each side. So you have Clefable, Slowbro, Aerodactyl, Skuntank. I think I watched the match, but I don't remember what happened. <laughs> Salamence and Verizion. And on, where are you? London Lillipup's side. Down here, London Lillipup's side, we have Jirachi. Sylveon. Quagsire, Excadrill, Pangoro, and Araquanid. Yay, Bubble Buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Um, any any comments? Obviously, no spoilers, but any comments on the matchups here? Just looking at the rosters. A lot of potential Calm Mind users. He has like three, like uh. The Minios have three Pokemon that can learn come. Mm hmm A lot of setup sweepers in general as well, like, five of his... I think actually all six of his mods can get set up. So I think Quagsire was a smart pick here. But Verizion yeah. could potentially shred him. Like, Veriz kills right. a lot of his members, I think it's a... Yeah. Alright. We're gonna see that. A repeat from Pangora last time. The Dragon Warrior. The Dragon Warrior. Alright, well let's see how it went. We have the leads of Aerodactyl and Jirachi. Two potential rock setters. Going in real quick with the Iron Head Focus Sash on the Aerodactyl and the Flinch, which is very unfortunate. Kind of surprised, well... Lynch. Was Jirachi oh. scarfed? Because Jirachi naturally doesn't yeah. outspeed Aerodactyl. It's, it's yeah. Scarf Rachi, yeah. yeah scarf Rachi. I think Yawn is a pretty weird move to run here on slow. Like, feels like a bit of a wasted slot. I mean, I guess you force like, a switch. You put to but... Speak, but, yeah, you really cut into your coverage or into your potential utility slots by running by running it, so yeah. yeah. If you get Thunder Wave Toxic, you get Slack Off come mm -hmm. I think it's I also oh, okay. don't why this is the like Verizion is so useful here. And he just sacks it to Sylvia instead of staying in with Scum Tank. And yeah. trying to hit it with a poison attack. And he's got yeah, a bad well, he's got a bad matchup yeah. against Sylveon, I didn't even yeah, think about that, but no yeah. Fairy resists. I don't... Yeah, and Sylveon's just gonna wish stall. Alright, so that's one for Sylveon. Sylveon takes out Verizion, which kind of lets Quagsire feel pretty comfortable. Quagsire basically just wins this entire game on some. Alright, doubles into Aerodactyl on yeah, the wish. Verizion out of the way, it's kinda, kinda free to do whatever it wants. So he's gonna take out the Aerodactyl. He got his rocks up. Of course, yeah, he's got up, he's got a Excadrill as a spinner. But I mean, Aerodactyl wasn't gonna yeah, do too much more. If by chance the other side got rocks up, it would have been over for Aerodactyl anyway. So I guess try to get it in. Fair enough. And that was well. Wait, what does Pangoro get? Does Pangoro get Steel type moves? Because it, uh, it gets it's gunk shot. Sure. Yeah, it's gonna be gunk shot. Yeah. There's yeah, the probably. knockoff. I mean, that's probably what he was predicting. I was curious why, unless he was predicting for him to switch, which is quite yeah, possible. Yeah, so I don't get... Yeah, I don't, he I don't know had Y-Fall on Skun Tank, so he wasn't... So I don't get why he switched out of Sylveon, unless he just wasn't packing a poison attack. Yeah. I don't know, that seems a little strange. Yeah, there, there are just a bunch of, like, suboptimal sets and plays on the Meteor side. Alright, Salamence gets the revenge. KO. Alright, Dredge come in, Slowbro in on Jirachi. Which is a good plan. Steel move Salamence gets? I 
thought I got I think iron. it's Iron Tower. Oh, iron. Yeah, it's just so inaccurate. It doesn't get Iron Head? I thought it did. I think it might. Maybe, but I'm not sure. I'll look it up. Alright, Araquanid is putting the pressure here on Slowbro. Gets a decent Psy Shock in there. Alright, Salamence comes in. So running... What is it, Moxie that Salamence gets besides Intimidate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's running Moxie. We saw it earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I know I turned my head during that part. Alright, Outrage, right. which is unfortunate because that's an easy swap to Sylveon. Or is it? I guess he didn't do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't like if he takes the next outrage. Did he just yeah, not? Just playing, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess he just maybe didn't want to have to take rock damage. I forget what HP Sylveon is at. Let me check. No, it's at 100% uh, HP. Not that low. Yes. So I don't know. I think I think he just. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. It, you just like know that Quagsire can was... take it. I mean, I yeah. figured it wasn't a two shot. But then he would have. Well, I guess if he had gotten the second one and not been confused, that would have been the, the cue to switch into Sylveon. I, I thought when he did that, he was just trying to go in for Ice Beam. I think quite very good Ice Beam, but he just went for cover instead. So. Mm -hmm. Running Thunder Wave on Clefable this game to me doesn't make any sense because he has three Pokemon that can absorb paralysis and. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, the flinch. The like, like Quagsire are immune to it, and That's... then Sylveon just heal bells. That's two yeah, unfortunate yeah. flinches from Iron Head. Oh, yikes. That powerful Iron Head. Salamence coming in for the revenge KO again. I'm surprised you didn't, uh... So maybe, I assume Quagsire is not running Ice Beam. I guess not. I don't get why he didn't recover there, but alright. Yeah, yeah, that was... Know. That was strange. Because, I mean... Also... Salamence has an uphill climb, but giving him a plus two easily was weird. Yeah, that's so beyond just... Uh, the first eight, flinch was 60%, two. so it should be expected. Yeah, but I guess not, not necessarily knowing... It was turn one, so not necessarily knowing that the scarf was going to be there. Which is kind of an unfortunate think, situation. Speaking of scarf, I think it's very obviously scarf meant here since he hasn't changged his moves. Yeah. The entire time of being yeah. But mm -hmm. I think scarf meant is a huge, like, misplay to bring here. Because if you look at the Lillipup's team, there's no one move that Mentz can lock itself into to win this game. That's true. So it would have really benefited from being mixed, so it could lure things like Quagsire or Sylveon mm -hmm. and take them out. Because its speed is enough to outspeed every single member of the Lillipops team, bar Jirachi, which, which it ties with, unless mm -hmm. it's Scarf. And then you have Slowbro to deal with it if it is Scarf, so... Doubling on the Thunder Wave, expecting a switch? Or expecting a heal- what is it, heal bell? Expecting another heal bell? I mean, Clefable's in a decent position, although really he, he could bring in- Well, wait, what's Jirachi's HP? Couldn't he just bring in Jirachi right now? Is yeah, it 61%? Jirachi. You can bring like, Jirachi at any point and just end this game. Because yeah. even if Jirachi gets paralyzed, it's still faster than Clefable, so it's just iron. Yeah. Hits, and then you have you have Sylveon for Salamence, who can't beat a 1v1. So yeah, yeah I, like I mean, the there's like a corner case where Clefable packs Fire Blast or Flamethrower, but... We, we've seen all four of its moves, actually. Calm Mind Move, yeah. Moonblast, Thunder Wave, and Soft Boiled. So I don't know if you finally figured it out. I mean, Jirachi was, like, at close to full. I don't think... Yeah, well, now was... came in on the Wish. Well, it's not a two-shot, but it has a, yeah, more than 50% chance to flinch, as Dino mentioned. So fast to a and not, not oh, letting get got a high roll. Not letting Sylveon get the wish itself here was kind of a misplay because you can potentially open him up to win with Salamence now. Mm hmm Yeah. Actually never mind. Yeah, he was he was too low, unfortunately. So low. And then I can drop 
All right, GG, you guys. This game goes to the London Lillipups. Let me make sure I get this here. It was a good play. Rachi at full can take the E quick. So during it's not stabbing. All right, let's go to the replay while I get this finished up. All right. For the Felstar Miniors, I have three KOs from Salamence, and from the London Lillipups, I have two KOs for Jirachi, two for Sylveon, one for Excadrill, and one for Pangoro. And this brings Felstar Miniors to 0 and 2, and this brings London Lillipups to 2 and 0. London Lillipups are sitting at plus 4, Felstar Miniors are sitting at minus 6, and the Felstar Miniors' new MVP is now Salamence with three KOs, and... The London Lillipup's previous MVP expands his lead with six KOs. It's Pangoro, the Dragon Warrior. Indeed, indeed. All right, so depending on, let's see. Depending on how the Trop Kicks do, uh, the, whoop, where'd it go? The, um... Lillipups are looking to be at the top of this conference right now. Depending on depending on what the if the Trop Kicks win and what their differential is, because currently tied with uh, Boston Basculins in win loss ratio, but higher in points. This battle's a little bit longer to go through the replay a second time. Let's get ready. Who do I have next? Next we have are it you was Dash sheet, or are you gonna do yeah, that now? yeah, I'm updating the one on my computer because because uh, it's easier that way. I don't have to have another browser window open, and then I'm gonna mm -hmm. copy it over to the Google Doc so that everybody can see it. Gotcha. All right, GG, you guys, and hello, Heem one two three seven. Welcome to hello. stream. Uh, let's see. Let's move on to the next battle.